Halloween's probably the third largest holiday here in the United States after Thanksgiving and Christmas, especially if you're a 20-something year old, but like one with a social life. Orange and black have basically become synonymous with Halloween, whether it's orange and black candy wrappers, black cats, pumpkins, witches, different things like that. So today I wanted to talk about five reptiles that are definitely in the Halloween spirit. Some definitely deserve candy, while others you might call mysterious and spooky. <laughs> Snakes, toads, spiders, other creepy collies, these animals have basically been associated with Halloween since its commercialization. But as we know, these animals aren't really that scary. I mean, you'll find scarier creatures at a Walmart at midnight than you will probably anywhere else. Many of these animals already have a very negative perception in the public eye, and I don't think we need to ostracize them further by making them more out to be like these nightmarish creatures that haunt and creep. There's already so much misinformation out there that the public just eats up. I mean, just look at this supposed spider skeleton that's a Halloween decoration. Spiders don't even have bones! So today we're just gonna look at and talk about five really cool reptiles that are definitely in the Halloween spirit and rock that orange and black. Starting out with the only non-squamate on our list, it's a turtle! And yes, spoiler alert, there aren't many orange and black turtles out there, let alone crocodilians, so this list is mostly snakes and lizards. The eastern box turtle is probably the first reptile I've ever covered on the channel in any of these top fives that I could actually go out into my area and find. They're a fairly small, mainly terrestrial turtle, and they're definitely one of the most unique turtles that you can find here in the U.S. This turtle has a special trick up its sleeve as it actually has hinge trap doors on both the front and back of its plastron or the underside of the shell, and so it can literally seal itself entirely up in its shell, hence the name box turtle. Now, I'm not 100% sure on this. I don't know exactly how true it was. I heard, though, that if you put your finger right near one of the trap doors when it goes to close it, it It'll actually close so strongly that it can actually break your finger. Again, I don't know the validity of this, I just heard that. I wouldn't be surprised if it was true. Now this turtle is like a visual party compared to most other turtle species. There's orange and black speckles and rays all over the shell and the scales. It's a super colorful little turtle and it's just, it's basically like a literal ray of sunshine to find one of these out and about in the woods if you're going herping. It also has these cool bright red eyes which are very uncommon with turtles and tortoises as well. As we talked about back in the top five coolest looking geckos video for World Lizard Day, the leopard gecko has a edgier, darker colored cousin called the Chinese cave gecko. What I didn't mention was that that gecko has an even cooler looking big brother called the Japanese cave gecko. While the Chinese cave gecko had some spotting and bright yellow bands, this gecko basically looks like a little mini Halloween themed lava lamp. Now, they're found on four islands off the coast of Japan, and if you can believe it or not, they are found in caves. This is a harmless, very cool looking little gecko that's obviously not doing a very good job of camouflaging in all those caves that it's hiding in with all this bright orange. Now the orange ranges from yellowish to a bright vivid orange and sometimes the patterning is more banded, sometimes it's almost like tiger stripey and then sometimes it's just completely random. I would also argue that they have the coolest looking eyes of any gecko I've ever seen. This is a small gecko with a lot of personality and a very tough looking stare. Almost like an anime child that's seen way too much stuff for an eight-year-old. The Bismarck ring python, let's face it, looks like a kid's toy. It looks like one of those fake rubbery snakes that kids wave around and will leave random places around the house to scare their parents with. Now this snake is weird for a few reasons, which we're going to get to the appearance in a second, but it's a fairly kind of smallish, medium-sized python. It maxes out at like five to six feet, and they're only found on the islands of the Bismarck Archipelago, which is just off the coast of New Guinea. This snake shares its genus only with the white lip pythons, which is why Bakari, my northern white lip python, is here now. Now this species is kind of funny because it is a python, but its species name is boa. So it's literally a python hiding under the guise, or one might even say costume, of being a boa. Now for appearance, this snake has this striking black and orange banding going down the body. This is probably the brightest orange you're likely ever to see on a reptile. However, as the snake matures, this orange fades pretty quickly into a drab, 
olivey greenish coloration sometimes even blackish so like humans with halloween when they're young they're all vibrantly colored and dressed up and colorful and as they get older that kind of leaves them and they just kind of become a plain boring old adult while the ring python kind of looks like a kid's toy the cape coral snake most definitely does not this is the charizard to the ring python's charmander it is beefier way more attitude and definitely way more dangerous this snake also hides behind a name because even though it's mostly known as the cape coral snake it has another name that it's sometimes called the cape coral cobra because this snake is in fact a venomous cobra Found in Western South Africa, this snake is much easier to spot than most of the other venomous snakes in the area, like your green mambas, your boom slangs, a lot of your viper species, which are all very well camouflaged. This snake sticks out like a very sore thumb. Despite its interesting coloration though, this snake really isn't that big. It maxes out at two, maybe three feet in length. It's actually a pretty small lapid. Unlike the ring python, this cobra keeps its orange throughout its life, and like I said, it has a very interesting coloration. This is what we call a posomatic coloration, which is basically a nature's equivalent of the stoplight or stop sign. Bright colors like the red telling you to stop, don't get any closer, things like that. Poison dart frogs, butterflies, wasps, venomous snakes, there's a lot of animals that utilize this. I'm bright, I'm dangerous back up. So when you see a deep orange and black snake with a bright white belly and a hood up, that's a pretty good indicator that the damage does match the warning. But not always, because just like the ring python, sometimes it's a disguise. Now for number one, uh, an animal that I think all of us can agree we never want to go bobbing for apples with, and this animal probably won't be a surprise to anyone. It's I think it's the most famous popular orange and black reptile that really anyone can really think of. And it's one of only two truly venomous lizards on the planet, the Gila monster. While not as large as the Mexican beaded lizard, the Gila still gets to a very impressive size of around two feet long. It's like, it's kind of like an exotically colored sausage lizard, sort of like what a blue tongue skink is as a sausage lizard. They're native to the Southwest United States and Mexico where they don't do much. They really don't move a whole lot. They're fairly inactive, especially compared to a lot of your other venomous reptiles, like a lot of your monitor lizards. And if you compare them to other venomous things, like venomous cobras, like the Cape Coral Cobra we just talked about, which does have confirmed human fatalities, this venom is nowhere, it's not going to kill you. It's not going to kill a human. It is, however, going to be a super, super, extremely painful bite. Coincidentally, despite being one of the two truly venomous lizards on the planet, they actually do make really good education animals. If you can get a captive born and bred one and you start working with it young, I know a lot of educators that'll just walk around with their Gila monster, just kind of chill down their hands as if it was a blue tongue skink. Now, don't do that. Do not go out and buy a Gila monster and think you can do that, but I have seen educators do this because they can become quite mellow if you work with them and you know what you're doing and you have the venomous license. Do not get a Gila monster. Do not ever get a pet Gila monster unless you're 100% ready for it. Anyways, they have one of the most interesting patterns of any of the reptiles we're talking about today. This orange and black splotching. It looks like, I don't know, kind of like a Halloween tiger print sausage. They also have these beaded scales similar to a tegu if you've ever gotten the chance to pet one of those. I don't recommend going out and petting a Gila monster, by the way, giving them this very unique kind of mini dragon-like profile. On top of all this, Halloween is the time for these crazy, weird Halloween decorations. And a lot of times, like we talked about before with the spider, there are a lot of unrealistic, unnatural skeleton and skull displays. This animal's skull looks like it belongs in a Walmart Halloween decor section, except it's 100% real. So those were five reptiles that are definitely in the Halloween spirit, rocking that orange and black coloration. Like the video if you learned something, subscribe so you don't miss out on any of our future videos, which I upload every Thursday. The link to our Patreon is down in the description if you want to check that out, support the channel for as low as 3 or $5, get some cool perks like early access to YouTube videos, things like that. If you're going out for Halloween this year, wherever you are, please be safe, be smart, be careful. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you later.